Hi, I'm Johnny from UltimatePaperMache.com and in my last video I showed you how I put all the pieces together for a new horse head sculpture that I've been working on. It's a pattern that you print on just regular paper or labels, put it on cardboard, tape it together, and that creates all the shapes for you just like all these back here. This is how it's actually going to look when it's all painted. But I haven't actually gotten to see that yet because I haven't painted it yet. Now I want to show you how I put the paper strips and paste on there and how I um, just added a really, really thin layer of paper mache clay. If you'd like to make a horse head sculpture of your own, you can find the pattern right now out on my website. There is a small charge for it and you can find it at ultimatepapermache.com slash horse pattern. Now let's go ahead and get started on this paper mache. I want to put a rim of aluminum foil right around the edge of the ears. Just so it looks a little bit more like horse hide. Turn this very thin piece. It's only, what, about two inches wide. Now scrumple it up really good. And put it on the inside. That'll give it a, a nicer, thicker look when, you're, um, when it's covered with paper mache. There's also a few areas, like right here, where a lot of pieces come together. There's a lot of plastic tape on there. So I'm just going to cover those areas with some masking tape. And I'm also going to put a very small piece of masking tape right over that kind of triangle, right at the corner of his eye. I'm putting them on there kind of light right now. I'm going to use a tool. You can use just about anything here. I'm going to kind of squish it down, push it into that hole, just so that you can will be able to see it after the paper mache is on there. And I'm trying to be as gentle as possible because if you push on this too much, you could pop some of that tape off. And we really don't want to have to go back and put a whole bunch of pieces back on again. So I'm just trying to be as gentle as I can. Now I did cover the back with masking tape too. I need to cover it with paper mache clay and I'm really worried about that flat piece warping. I made some cooked flour and water paste and it's still a little bit warm, feels good. <laughs> and I'm going to use some newspaper strips. You can use any kind of paste you want to and any paper that's soft enough so that when it gets wet it will form into the shape that's under it. The important part about the eye is that I don't want to lose that uh, shadow line that we made by putting those two different pieces of cardboard right on top of each other. That was kind of a pain in the neck to do and so we don't want to lose it. Put your piece of paper over there and just make sure that it goes into that dip. I want to push it down into that dip that we made at the corner of his eye. I'm actually having fun putting the paper strips and paste on here. I'm almost tempted to go ahead and cover the whole thing this way it would look really nice but I already made the paper mache clay already so I'm going to go ahead and do it as planned this is, this is really turning out good though I'm going to put something on here to make it a little bit easier for me to attach my mane I wanted something that kind of just sticks up so I'm just I'm just kind of making flanges I guess you could call it Folding it right in the middle. Now it's time to start adding the paper mache clay. And it's a little different color than you're probably used to seeing because I didn't have any Elmer's glue wall. And I didn't want to drive 30 miles to go get some, so I used Gorilla Wood Glue, which is also a PVA glue. Any PVA glue will work. And I don't use quite as much 
flour as the recipe calls for when I'm not going to be doing any sculpting with the clay. All my sculpting is already done with the foil and the cardboard. So all I need is just a, a really, really thin layer of the paper mache clay to, you know, turn it into a sculpture. So I don't put as much flour in it. And that way I can get a nice, uh, really thin layer without working at it too hard. I'm not going to cover this thing that, you know, this little part that's up here. And this is just a, an area for the mane to get glued onto, so I need it to be more flexible. And I'm just trying to feather it in to the areas where there's already some of the paper strips and paste, so that there won't be a line there. My first thin layer of the paper mache is now dry, and I want you to note that because this is a water-based material, and all water-based materials are going to shrink a little bit when it dries. You can actually see some of the seam lines from the pattern itself. Now, you can use a very thin layer over the top of those or just along the edges, which is what I'm going to do to cover these up. But I've decided that I want this one to stay fairly sharp. And that's just a Personal thing, I really happen to like that. It's kind of stylized and it reminds me of some of the really old Japanese um, horse sculptures that, that I really liked when I was doing some research for this project. There's other ones though, uh, like, like these, that I want to soften up and I'll do that with my second coat. Now on this side, I've already done this. There's a, a, a strong seam line right here on the eye bone and that doesn't really look like a horse and so I softened it with a little bit of the paper mache clay. I haven't done that with this one yet so I'll go ahead and do that as I'm smoothing everything else off. Now I want to remind you, you don't have to use the paper mache clay if you don't want to, if you can't get the ingredients or you just don't want to mix it up. Go ahead and cover your horse with paper strips and paste. It would work just as well. If you'd like to make a horse sculpture of your own and you want to use my pattern, you can find it at ultimatepapermache.com slash horse pattern. There is a small charge for it. Next video, I'm going to show you how I did this mane. It was kind of messy, but uh, it was kind of fun too. <laughs> then I get to paint him, so watch for those videos and then come visit me ultimatepapermache.com. Let's see you there.